Hey guys, it's Philippa Hanna and welcome to Inspiration 365, 365 days of inspiration for a great year. Today we're going slightly off script, not that there really is a script. But I thought we could take a break from the whole dreams situation just to talk about one of the greatest things that's ever happened in my life. Going on tour with Little Nick. Now, if you don't know who Little Mix is, firstly, what rock are you living under? Little Mix are the world's biggest girl band right now. They won the X Factor a few years ago, and they really are extremely good. Firstly, I wanna say, about five days before the first date of the Little Mix tour, the Get Weird tour, I got the world's worst grisly, nasty chest infection, sinus infection. <laughs> My glands are swollen. <laughs> It was horrible, I was growing another head. I was so unwell. There is literally nothing worse for a singer than having one of those chesty, nasty, horrible, productive coughs, TMI. So anyway, I got on the plane to go to that first date in faith. I was literally like, I cannot sing. If I can't sing by the time I get to Stockholm, it's all over. And I thought I might end up having to come off the tour and go home. So we get to Stockholm, we were outside in this sort of outdoor roller coaster. what do you call one of those places? theme park, we were in a theme park and it was an outdoor stage. When we arrived there, I went upstairs and still coughing and feeling terrible, I got ready, I put my makeup on, I put my sparkly jacket on. When I walked to the side of stage, this curly haired, sweet young girl came up to me and was like, oh, lovely to meet you pet, good luck out there. I said a couple things like that and I thought, that's Perry. <laughs> she gave me a massive hug. And I thought, well, this is going to be an easy tour. These people seem really nice. Anyway, went out on stage, and the moment that I started singing, and the moment Joel, my husband, started playing, everybody in that crowd was on board. Little Mix fans across Europe and the world at large are the most accepting, excited, passionate, inspiring young people that there are. The minute I started singing, I thought, you know what, even if I feel like death warmed up, I know I'm gonna get through this tour and we're gonna have a ball. So the tour went on, we went all around Europe. I was still battling with the cough, but every night I just sort of prayed. I asked God to help me through it. And every night somehow I managed to not die. Maybe third or fourth night, I can't remember which. I went around to take a few pictures with them. They were just all just hanging backstage, completely not hiding, this being really sweet. Literally all of them, every single one of those girls spoke to me, not like I was a support act that wasn't important or someone that was just there who they were never gonna see again so they didn't need to talk to. Every single night, all of them treated me with respect. They spoke to me like they were interested in what I was saying. Being on the road with Little Mix, it made my life, it made my dreams come true because I would get on stage and I would sing my songs and I just felt so much love and acceptance. You're an incredible fandom, I love you and thank you for making me feel so at home on that tour. Thanks so much for watching today guys. As part of my 365, I thought I'd talk to you guys about Little Mix. I thought it might inspire you to hear about what can happen. I'm an independent artist and I found myself on tour with one of the biggest girl bands in history. You know, I think that just proves that if you work hard, anything can happen. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, if you want to hear more stuff like this, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Over and out.